As summer turns to fall in Cincinnati, U.S. Bank Arena also goes through a major shift as the ice is installed for another season of Cincinnati Cyclones hockey. The team went through a number of ups and downs during the 2015-16 campaign, and after struggling through the middle portion of the schedule, the team went on an impressive run to claim the seventh seed in the Kelly Cup playoffs. The Cyclones ultimately lost in the first round to the Fort Wayne Comets, but now head coach Matt McDonald is ready to get to work once again. Our last half of the year, we um, you know, kind of heated up there for a bit. We did what we had to do to get into playoffs, and um, we played a very good Fort Wayne team that obviously made it to the conference finals and pushed them to seven games with the two double overtimes in overtime and very, very close um, series. It was, it was a lot of learning for, I think, everybody, for myself included. You know, as a head coach, that was my first time in playoffs. It was a good building block for uh, myself and I think for the guys that are returning to uh, look forward to this year and have a better start. Make sure we don't have that dip that we have to come out red hot in the last half. But, um, you know, we'll see how things go. You never know. The majority of the Cyclones roster entering training camp is new to Cincinnati, but this year will also feature another new face behind the bench with the addition of assistant coach Patrick Weller. Adding Pat this year was something I was really excited about. Pat obviously has a career that uh, is outstanding. He's won three, three or four championships. He's been a guy that's played 13 years of pro and um, if you talk to anybody that's played with Pat or against him, they know what he's about. He was a hard, tough-nosed defenseman that I was a team first guy. I'm not a complex guy. I, I, I've always, as a player, I've always prided myself on being a, a, a great teammate and a good locker room guy. Um, I consider myself to be a very positive person. I, I want to make sure that guys are guys are enjoying the process. And when it is time to work, they're, they're working and enjoying it. Uh, I want them to uh, have a kind of a hard hat mentality that they bring to the rink, a lunch pail, so to speak. And uh, that's, that's kind of how I am. I, I worked hard, um, but uh, like I said, there's nothing real special to me. I was just... Uh, a small town kid from Saskatchewan who was able to, to, who's now able to call hockey a career. He can bring a lot to this team and he can help our young guys develop and uh, he's a guy that uh, brings your day every, every time he comes in the room he's going to be a guy that's uh, bringing a lot of positivity and a guy that uh, you know he can, he definitely has a great hockey mind and a great hockey IQ that he can pick up on things quick and, and he's going to help our staff I think uh, tremendously. Looking to make another run at the ECHL's Kelly Cup, McDonald and Weller work through the summer to build the roster that enters training camp this week. At this level, at the AA level, it's a lot of recruiting. So, uh, you know, there's been a lot of phone calls uh, all summer with, uh, with Coach Mack and myself, essentially banging on doors, so to speak, talking with agents, trying to uh, make sure that uh, we assembled the, the right pieces. Uh, there's a lot of, a lot of research, uh, whether it's contacting uh, former coaches of players, uh, just any, any type of character reference, all that sort of stuff, because we wanted to build a team that not only is talented on the ice, but is, is comprised of good people. That was primary one, was to make sure if the guy was going to come in, that he's a guy that uh, will fit well within our organization, uh, fit well representing the Cincinnati Cyclones. And then obviously he's got to be a good player. The guys seem to be gelling really nicely and, and, and having fun, and uh, it has the makings of a great group. Camp started today. We have... Uh, 26, 27 guys on ice right now. Um, it was a bit of a work day. It was just kind of getting guys comfortable out there in their new gear and you know, getting guys uh, used to the field out there, getting back into practice mode. Um, as uh, the days progress, we'll start getting into more systems. We'll start getting into more of team-oriented things, working on what we need to do for as a group and getting everybody on the same page. I'm really happy, you know, the guys showed up ready to go today and we put them through a pretty tough skate and uh, you know once again talking about that uh, will and character there was no guys dropping out bowing out uh, everybody pushed to the end and yeah it's day one and I expect that but at the same time uh, it was an extremely tough first day and uh, the guys worked through it and it's something that's going to pay off later on. Well actually I think the coaches did a great job today and uh, that's exactly uh, you know you're skating getting your legs underneath you you want the pace to be as fast as possible you have no time to get ready or get in shape so I think today was perfect uh, a lot of skating a lot of tough drills, but uh, uh, me personally, I just want to get uh, make sure my legs underneath me, make sure my timing's on, and uh, you know, little things like even getting used to your equipment is a big thing before the first game. From what I remember last season, it was, I think the session was a little longer, but uh, he put us through the pace today. I think all the guys did really well. First day at camp's never really fun. You don't really know what to expect. You don't know if you're going to go out there and 
just kind of be doing, you know, skating drills or flow drills or whatever it may be. So I, I thought all in all it was a good paced practice. After today, we uh, know it's going to be tough, you know, uh, but that's expected. Uh, everyone's in pretty good shape already. So just keep grinding and uh, stay focused on that first game and be ready to go when the season starts. It's only 10, 10, 11 days that camp is. So guy, every day guys are getting evaluated and it's going to be uh, it's going to be a tough camp at the same time. Uh, I think guys are, you know, they're chomping at the bit. They're ready to go. They've had, you know, numerous months off here and um, they're excited to get this season started. Good skate for the first day. I'm proud of you guys. You guys are working hard, okay? Listen, there's a reason for it. Like I told you the other day, okay? We're going to come out of the gates hot because we're going to be in shape. Teams will not work as hard as we work, I promise you. So when that third period comes and they're lagging behind, that's when we win games, all right? That's how you win championships. We're starting from day one, all right? So when you guys do it, believe me, the method to the madness is there because we come out of the gates hot we're gonna have a hell of a year, all right? It's gonna be a hard first week, week two, you'll feel even better. We get in that regular season, boys. We're gonna be happy we're doing that now. All right, good skate, get our in us.